our community in the East African community. I, I was, I went through all this, so my training, my experience and background uh, prepares me to be able to wear these hats. And to wear them effectively, my lord. Yes, uh -huh. yes, my lady. Um, I, I don't feel that I should leave this area before we discuss just three which are the most important um, priorities we have identified for moving us to the next level in our strategic plan on the core mandate of the judiciary 2019-2023. Would my Lord kindly discuss very briefly those and tell us how my Lord will ensure that we get there? Thank you. On Mary. the core mandate in the strategic plan. Mm -hmm. um, I think the strategic plan identifies eight uh, key areas. Um, uh, the, the first one would be on access. Access in its very broad term. Uh, opening up courts, uh, making um, work efficient, um, delivery on time, um, the second one is on issues of integrity, um, the, the strengthening of the Ombudsperson's office um, uh, that has been identified too. Um, and of course, there's the issue of leadership, enhancing um, responsive leadership uh, in the judiciary. Um, uh, on access to justice, um, um, uh, CJ, I hope you are winding up because it's, time is going. All right. Thank you. On access to justice, which is core, and on, on organizational sustainability, which also is core, and on the corporate identity, which is also core, uh, I would imagine that one of the very serious issues we would have to settle would be this problematic case, case load, how to manage it um, so that we, be, we remain relevant. Uh, my Lord, as you hear, we've run out of the time allocated to me, but let me ask one uh, final question. Judicial discretion, what is it? When may it be misused? And is my Lord aware of instances of misuse of judicial discretion? And my Lord, I wish you the best. Thank you. Thank you, my lady. The judicial discretion is the inherent power given to a judge or a judicial officer uh, in law, in the rules, to make a decision. I know that in many instances, uh, we have um, properly exercised our discretionary powers, but I'm aware um, something that concerns me most, the discretionary powers used in interim orders, ex parte orders, that concerns me quite a bit. Um, we have seen people running to court um, last minute to get such far-reaching orders which are issued ex parte. Um, and sometimes we don't even reflect on the ramifications of those orders. That is one area. I can't say it is being misused or abused, but um, given the effect, um, I think it's an, uh, it's an area that uh, ought to be looked at very, very uh, carefully. Thank you, my lady. Um, back to you, Chair. Thank you very much, uh, uh, Acting CJ. Thank you, Judge. It is now the turn of Commissioner Judge Wasame to ask his questions. Thank you, Professor. Judge, well, again, welcome. Judge, you have talked about how you have transformed the Court of Appeal. 
now you will be head of the institution of the judiciary, and in particular, you will be the president of the Supreme Court. Tell us one thing you see as a problem in the Supreme Court you will solve within your first 60 days, if given the opportunity, God willing. Thank you. Uh, that's a tricky one. Uh, I'm not in the Supreme Court. Um, I'm not able to identify uh, a problem. Um, but going by um, the current discussions, going by the um, general um, feelings, um, of course, there have been many, many uh, criticism of the court, um, whether right or wrong. I personally think that we have had very good jurisprudential guidance from that court. Um, just read judgments of the superior courts below the Supreme Court and you will notice that we make reference to their decisions. But there are there are criticisms. All courts are criticized, including our court. Um, I think the Supreme Court, having done 10 years, um, there ought to be some audit, some um, introspection. Um, the equivalent in the UK, um, which, was, which was born one year before ours, um, had their reflection period um, where you introspect, uh, look at whether these criticisms are grounded or are just hot air. Um, and that's, that's all I can say, that perhaps it's time for us as a, as a court uh, to have self-evaluation um, and even involve um, uh, scholars you know, to help us really uh, break down these criticisms. Thank you, my lord.